Hello, sweeties. I have this month's Fandom Flakies box to share with you. This month's theme is inspired by the movie Practical Magic. First up, we have Bee's Knees Lacquer, There's a Little Witch in All of Us, which is described as a purple pastel multichrome that shifts between gold and green, as well as matte black flakes, sea foam flakes, and hollow flakes. I'm showing it here in two coats. If you have more of a free edge than me, you may need three coats. This is a bit on the sheer side enough that it could be used as a topper in one coat, and it dries with a bit of texture, so a top coat is needed for a smooth, glossy finish. I first show it under the studio lighting, and then under the low lighting. Under the low lighting, you can really see the shifts in the gold and green flakes, and that purple shimmer becomes much stronger. Next is Night Owl Lacquer's Normal Is Not Necessarily a Virtue. This is described as a violet tinted base filled with rusty micro flakies and different sized particle shimmers that shift between green, blue, and fuchsia. I applied two coats to reach full opacity, but if you have a more of a free edge than me, you will need three. This one dries with an extremely subtle texture, enough that you can't really even see it in person, but a top coat is still needed for a full glossy finish. I first show it under the studio lighting and then under the low lighting. This one really pops under the lower lighting. The fuchsia, green, and blue shifts become very pronounced and makes the polish that much more magical. Next, I'll be showing you the Ribbit Stickets water slide decals. I show them used in two different ways. First, it's over a lighter base, which means you just dip it in the water, slide the decal off, and apply it right to the nail, and then that's that. But the second way is using the decals over a darker base, which requires a little bit more work. To start, I cut the images I want to use from the sheet and set them aside. Try to cut as close to the image as you possibly can. I first start with a light gray polish, and once that's fully dry, using the dry brush technique, I brush on a lavender shade. This technique helps give the nail the old, grungy, dingy type style. To achieve the dry brush technique, you simply try to remove most of the polish from the brush, leaving very little behind. But side note, be sure to clean the neck of your polish after this so it closes properly and it doesn't leave your polish feeling dry and goopy. Once the lavender dries, I then do a very, very thin coat of the Bees Knees Lacquer Polish over that. I finally finished the base of my mani by applying a very, very sheer coat of a white Crelly. I do this because I wanted the mani to have a bit more of a dull look to it. I don't want it to be very bright and popping. So this way the white Crelly kind of dulls down those darker colors. I drop the decal into room temp water and I let it sit for about 15-20 seconds and then carefully remove it with my tweezers. For easier positioning, I apply the decal onto our clear stamper head so I have better control over placement. Gently push down with your finger and try to slide the white backing off and simply stamp the decal right onto your nail. So normally, before I put the decal onto my nail, I would have taken a Q-tip and dabbed a lot of the excess water off of the stamper, but here I forgot to, so the decal kind of slid around my nail. Luckily, it's easily able to be moved. And we finish it by applying our Fast Dry Top Coat. And here's the finished result. For this next mani, you're going to repeat the steps as I showed before, where you cut the decals that you want to use out, being sure that you cut as close to the image as possible. Then set them aside. This time, once you put the decal onto the stamper, make sure to pat it dry so it doesn't have any excess water on it. 
and then using a white nail polish or an acrylic paint. Here I'm using acrylic paint. Paint onto the image as much as you can and as close to the edges as you possibly can. Once done, set it aside to fully dry. For my ring nail, I started with the base of the Night Owl Lacquer Polish. Once fully dry, I take a Q-tip dipped in some paint and gently dab it onto my nail. And then I take the other side of the Q-tip, dip that into water, and then dip that onto the paint to kind of thin it out to give it a bit of a smoky look. Once dry, I apply one coat of a sticky base coat and let that dry to a slightly tacky finish. You don't want it to fully dry, but dry enough that when you go to apply the decal, it'll have something to adhere to. Using white acrylic paint, I start painting a little bit of the white around the moon, just so I can give the smoke a little bit more definition and it be a bit more obvious. And using a striper paintbrush and a toothpick, I paint on some dots and a little bit of stars to just so it has a more magical, sparkly look. For the rest of my nails, I painted a couple coats of a peachy coral color and let that fully dry. Once my nails dried, I started to do this, I don't even know what the name of this technique is called, but you just dab a bunch of nail polish dots onto a mat, here I'm just doing it onto paper, and then you swirl it around like a marble effect, and then you smoosh your stamper onto it and then apply that directly onto your nail. If anybody knows the name of what that technique is called, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Just as I did before, I put the decal on the water, put it on the stamper, made sure it was dry, and then painted a white over the back of the image and then let that dry. I then apply a sticky base coat to my nail and let that dry slightly tacky and apply the decal. And again, using white acrylic paint and a toothpick and a liner brush, I paint on some stars and sparkles. Also using the Night Owl Lacquer Polish, I also paint on a little bit of the polish over the sparkles just so that they weren't so bright and it had a little bit more shimmer. And finally we seal everything with our Fast Dry Top Coat. And here's the end result. This one's definitely my favorite of the two. I just love that it definitely gives off the practical magic vibes. The other one is really pretty too. I like that it's more simple and has more of like an earthy witch tone to it. Let me know in the comments below which Manny you liked better and let me know which of the polishes is your favorite. The Fandom Flakies box is available this Friday, May 10th at noon Eastern through May 17th. You have the option of purchasing the entire box of two limited edition polishes for $22 plus shipping. Additionally, customers can add items to their order for ribbit stickets, such as the water slide decal shown in this video, as well as the other ribbit stickets goodies. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.